What up, tubers? Yes, Joel Powell, Jackhammer Mike, with another lame video. Uh, this is going on three nights. Uh, this is Friday night. We're going to go out to the desert tomorrow night. Uh, two nights ago, Wednesday and Thursday, we had some heavy rain here. A lot of thunder and lightning. And uh, had some pretty beefy monsoon storms. And uh, tomorrow, or tonight, looks like it's not going to be any exception. There, we are under a flash flood watch, which means flash flooding is imminent. And uh, I saw the radar, and we have a shit ton of rain coming in again tonight. It comes in from the east, the northeast, and it rolls in, and it seems like the weather pattern we are in right now. Uh, I was really super excited. I am super excited about going out tomorrow night. Um, just because I don't know what we're going to run into, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to the Y. We're going to hike above it, where there's a camp spot there. And my strategy and my plan is, I tried to wake up a uh, contingency plan, and it's not happening. But uh, I really wanted to kind of plan it out tonight, so we could sleep on it and uh, decide. But, uh, yeah, whatever. We're going to take the high ground tomorrow and we're gonna take a mile and a half hike down to a cattle tank which I know there's gonna be water and uh, we only have to cross the wash once it's a big area it's probably a hundred yards ish that we have to go through the wash <clears throat> and it's a very low area so you know, if there's rain, there's flash flooding, yeah, it's going to happen, and we're going to be in a world of hurt, but uh, that's what desert camping is all about, that's what survival is all about, so we're going we're gonna to test it tomorrow, and I don't want to just go out willy-nilly, I'm not going to just go walking down a wash now and look for that stupid bird again, now that he's going to have a shotgun, and uh, the snake, and things like that, we'll probably find plenty of snakes on the road. Uh, birds, who knows what on this, it's not even a road per se, it's a trail that you can see from satellite, so it's a worn path, <laughs> but it's out in the middle of nowhere, but again, it's a mile, a little under a mile and a half to get there, and a mile and a half to return, and this kind of weather is not something that you want to fuck around with, especially at night, you can't see Jack. Um, you can't tell how far away the rain is. Uh, thankfully, our phones do work out there a little bit. We can get uh, satellite. Uh, definitely can be checking the weather and GPS will follow, you know, let us follow our tracks and, and the trail. So I have no problem with uh, getting up on that road and going. I'm going to show you here in a minute where I, what I'm talking about. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you the storm rolling in here tonight. Uh, maybe if I'm up in a little while, I'll get some pictures. I should have done it last night. I mean, it was just pouring off the roof. Heavy rain. I couldn't see across the street hardly because uh, the rain was so heavy. And I'm kind of bummed because I've got a uh, new light. Let me try it out for you here. Look at that. This light is awesome. It's a little heavy on this unit. I have a, uh, I bought a uh, mount. They call it a hot shoe, and I can mount my microphone, sorry, and I can mount the light, and I can even mount the GoPro on the side so I can have another camera on this mess. Uh, it's a little heavy because this light takes uh, six uh, AAA or AA batteries, so with the light, the camera, the microphone, the mount, and the uh, stabilizer, um, you're looking at about five-ish pounds, uh, maybe a little bit more. The drawback I see is the fact that I cannot set this down if I don't bring a tripod. Um, I can set it on the ground, but you can't see crap, so there's no point in doing that. 
Um, I have to have a free arm um, for the rifle. I have to have two free arms, basically, because if uh, something creepy comes out of the uh, <laughs> woodwork, like maybe a steer or a bobcat, you know, something nasty, um, I got to be able to shoot it or shoot at it. And uh, I can't do it with a camera in my hand. So I'm going to have to either not take this or I'm going to have to take it on a tripod, which even makes it heavier. So I haven't decided yet on what I want to do with that. However, um, let me turn off this light. Pretty cool. I like it. It really helps out. And let me show you what my plan is here. Ooh. Go away, Max. Big baby. Oh, he was all wound up last night. It was pouring down rain, and Mr. Knucklehead here decided that he wanted to go out in the backyard and run out the doggy door, go out in the rain, come back in the doggy door, run into my bedroom, jump up on the bed, wet dog smelling all. <laughs> yeah. And then do it all over again. And he did it about five times before I got pissed. Just said, stop. So, all right. Now, if you see any GPS numbers, I'm going to be blocking those out, so don't get excited. Um, there's, Max, stop it, dick. <coughs> there's the cattle tank. <coughs> Excuse me. called lower tank okay so what we would do or what my thoughts were is that one we were going to go here back to our camping spot and we were either gonna go north up to here somewhere and beyond which right now with the way the weather is I don't think that's wise being anywhere near this wash or I think TCP was going to try to convince me to go south so we can go back and find that bird and maybe see some more snakes so I'm not really hip on that idea just because I'm not really hip on being in that wash <clears throat> now you can see these hills right here Okay, this area is raised. It's about a 40 to 60 foot rise between where we camp and where we get into the place, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this walk, this trail right here. And let me scope it out for you here. Let me get a measurement, measure distance. So from here to here where we hit the wash, is 33, 3333, 3, 3, 3. basically 3,333 feet. Now, from here down to this corner, boom, and then boom to the wash, 1.4 miles. So almost a mile and a half down, mile and a half back. And we're gonna have to cross some areas that are gonna be questionable. Um, obviously the function, the whole functionality of a cattle tank is that they've taken a wash and they've carved a vein into it to fill up this area and then once it's full, it just kind of keeps flowing down the wash, okay? so. In order for this to have water in it, it has to have rain, it has to have water coming down these washes, things like that. But this area doesn't look like it's too bad. However, when we get to this point right here, and in fact, let's take a measurement. Measure distance from there to there. Uh, 463 feet. But let's take it out a little bit just because we know those are going to be a little bit low. And 818 feet. Uh, divide that by three, not quite 300 yards. And that we're going to have to cross to get into, you know, cross that 
really nasty area. And if water's ripping through there, I don't think we're going to take a chance on uh, crossing it. So, you know, I'm not I'm not real hip on being in this wash at all at this time of the year. All right. However, I want to have a mission. I want to have a purpose to going out. So we're going to take this hike down to this cattle tank. We're going to get some water out of here and come back home. I guess process it. I mean, I don't know what the point is. I mean, we could get water out of here. Once we get the water, we know we can boil it. We can process it. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I just want to, I just know I want to go to that tank. I want to see it. And then, um, you know, go back. So the mission is to hit lower tank and uh, go from there. So a mile and a half in, mile and a half out, three miles total. <clears throat> Hiking through the desert at night. So there you have it. Oh, I guess I'll show you, since I've got it, <laughs> let's refresh it to see where we're at. And yeah, we're about to get bombarded with some really nasty shit. There's a lot of purple in it. There's a lot of red. That's some heavy thunderstorms right there. And watch when it moves. It's all gang banging together. It's all joining together. And uh, we're going to have another night. I'll even go as far to say that we are in this area here. And look at that. That's about to rain on my parade. Okay. So we're about right in here, and it's all coming down this way. Uh, cattle tank is right here, and it had a big thunderstorm, and it's all kind of died out. So we're looking like we're in good shape. I'll show you here, see if it'll show it. Yeah, that was some pretty good stuff came in and just kind of dissolved. So this is where we're at. And let me freeze it right there. See all of that? Okay, gang. All of that is going to take all these tributaries and everything and bring all that water down to here. Now, it's not raining here. It didn't rain. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. And it looks like all this dissolved. But with heavy rain and everything, mile, two miles, three miles up from where you're at, all this shit, especially since it's been raining, for the last three or four days, hardcore at night, um, that water's just going to keep running and running and running and running right through our area. So it doesn't have to be raining where you're at. That's what flash flooding is all about, you know? That's why you have to really be watching the weather because you might not ever see rain and it might look like it's far off in the distance, but um, it is not. <laughs> going to be far off in the di or, uh, it's going to travel down that wash so I don't know if I can post this now I just showed you where a road is and everything and I really don't want to do that but it's kind of an illustration on where we're going and I could be lying I mean we could be up here we could be over here uh, we might not be necessarily in here we could be over here you know that is a big ass area so you know whatever Oh, knock yourself out you know you want to come out to the area knock yourself out just keep it clean uh, don't leave your litter <laughs> you know and uh, you know keep it nice for everybody else in the meantime we're gonna watch these thunderstorms come in and uh, Mesa is just been pounded for the last couple of days Scottsdale got pounded yesterday there's flooding all over the place the washes are loaded we got washes down here that are loaded. I haven't seen water in this wash down here since I've been here t two years ago. And uh, this whole wash is like loaded with water. So, 
All right, well, there you have it. Uh, I will uh, talk to TCP, I guess, tomorrow. I've got a busy day. Um, I'm on call for the most of the day. So I'm going to uh, run and grab a haircut. I'm gonna run to uh, Winco, grab some food for Dogness. Max the pirate dog, all passed out. Hot oh, dude. Oh, I got my bones. Yes, my long bones full of peanut butter. And that little bone is a nice, tasty, stinky marrow bone. Oh, my happy dog. <laughs> yes. Aren't ya? Oh, you're talking about me, Dad. I'm gonna come over and bug you now. A little slobber on you. Oh. So with that, we are out.